The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... In order to really get a feel for a region, you need to meet the people whose talents and creativity make it unique. For my visit to the Martinsville Henry County area, I decided to check out a new driving tour that offers an opportunity to do just that. To pick out my stops for the day, I started here at the Visitor Center where I picked up a brochure for the new Smith River Artisan Trail. The staff was more than happy to show me all the unique places to see, from artist studios, farms and markets, to museums and cultural sites. The options were endless. I decided to start my day here at the Despot School of Art, where a painting class was just getting started. Okay, everybody welcome. We'll be painting this painting, but you're not painting it like this. You'll be painting the entire painting upside down. Since I have zero artistic talent, I was a little nervous about creating anything that would resemble the piece we were painting, but Karen had a unique approach. You fool yourself, especially in painting people. If you turn it upside down, you don't see it as a mouth or an eye, you see it as a shape. So what we were doing was just painting shapes, putting the values where I told you to put them, making the stripes. You turn it right side up, then it's hills and trees. Step by step, Karen guided us through the piece, showing us the colors to blend, which brushes to use, and simply encouraging us each step of the way. And soon, we were all lost in our work. First of all, you're doing one that I would be happy to hang on my wall. I don't let anybody leave here with something that they're unhappy with, but also that you're learning something. It is three intense hours of painting. Intense, but really fun, and a final product I was surprisingly proud of. Not too bad for being completely painted upside down. A lot of fun. And this is just one of the places where you can tap into creativity. Down the street, you'll find Gallery 22, where there are beautiful handmade glass pieces for sale, or you can create your own. Learn how to place mosaic glass tiles that transform into one-of-a-kind pieces that are perfect for a special gift or a treasure to hang in your home. For lunch, one of the recommended stops along the trail is here, Rising Sun Bakery, a farm-to-table bakery that uses all-natural local products to create delicious baked breads and offers a full breakfast and lunch menu. We enjoyed freshly made sandwiches, fruits, and homemade desserts. For a truly unique experience, I decided to visit Mountain Valley Hops, a small family-owned hop farm that grow the hops that are used to make a Mountain Valley Red IPA at Two Witches Brewing Company in Danville. We really enjoy beer, and uh, I had experienced some hops growers up in Richmond, actually, with uh, Hardywood. And I think everybody's familiar with Hardywood, and they actually started the movement of having people grow hops and then bring them to their brewery. When we moved down here, we had 10 acres and this beautiful open property, so I said, let's do it. The quarter acre hop yard is producing about 200 pounds of hops, and there are plans to expand. Fourth year is our full production year. With the addition, with our third acre, 250 pounds, maybe 300 pounds when we're up and running full, full bore. You're gonna need some help. Yes. <laughs> Come and explore the crops and learn how to grow your own. Okay. Now show me here. Do we see any of the, this, the hops? These guys yet? are the Chinooks, and these this is actually one of my favorites because he takes off every year. And yeah, you can start to see uh, where they're starting to come out. When, after the summer solstice, they'll really start to bud out, and that's when they that's when they really take off. So right after the summer solstice so is when they're starting to really. End of June, really, then, right? End of June. Okay. Yeah, they'll start to really bud out, and you, the, the cones will get about this big, and, and there'll be like clusters of cones. And then you'll out. know they're ready to be harvested. Uh, not yet. Really, what you do is you feel them, and when they get like papery, and you can, and your, the oils will get on your fingers. They're actually really? sticky. Yeah, okay. and they smell so good. My experiences here along the Smith River Artisan Trail was just a small sampling of what this region has to offer. A real opportunity <laughs> to explore your creative side and discover something new. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to a great harvest, guys. To a great harvest. 
Be sure to check out the Artisan Trail yourself sometime soon. There are plenty of stops just waiting to be discovered. Head to visit Martinsville to learn more.